What's up everybody, Andy here, and welcome back to Kit Guru. So today we've got an extra special video for you all. Before we dive into it, I need to say I am incredibly jealous of one of you lucky lot. And do you wanna know why? Because we've teamed up with Corsair to give away this incredible IQ certified system made by SCAN. That's right, you have the chance to win this exact PC. So let me make your mouths water by telling you the specifications. It has an Asus ROG Strix Z490F motherboard, an Intel i9-10850K, a Corsair Hydro H100i, 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM at 3000 megahertz, an Asus TUF OC RTX 3080, that's right, an actual 3080, one terabyte Corsair MP600 PCIe M.2 SSD, Corsair RM850X PSU, Corsair Lighting Node Pro with RGB LED strips, and Corsair 120 Pro RGB fans, all packaged into this stunning 3XS Corsair 4000D case. So you can see why I'm jealous, right? So if you wanna win this incredible prize, then check out the link in the description below. If you want to support us and what we do here at KitGuru, including these awesome giveaways, then please smash that like and subscribe button. So since we have this stunning IQ certified system right here today, I'm going to be showing you how IQ works and how it is much more than just an RGB control center. Some companies have multiple apps and software for different components, and it can be extremely frustrating. Corsair, however, wanted to create the one software to rule them all, their own ecosystem, and the only software you'll ever need to sync everything they have to offer all in one place. It's not something they want to leave by the wayside either. IQ is constantly updated because Corsair are consistently striving to make it better, and it's a forefront of their ideas. They're passionate about IQ, and after using it many times, I think this passion shines through. An example of an update is that IQ now supports MSI and ASUS components too, so you can control their lighting effects. Now we do have an ASUS motherboard and graphics card in this system today, so we can sync them within our system. Another example is certain games like The Division 2 and Far Cry will automatically enable custom lighting effects when in use. Pretty cool. Not only have we got our amazing giveaway PC, which is IQ certified, we also have a few extra Corsair products to hook up and control within IQ for this video. Now these extras are not included in the giveaway, I did just wanna say that. I have reviewed each of these items independently and I show you every setting for each device too, so make sure to go and watch those videos as well. I've added four Corsair LT100 light towers, a Corsair Dark Core Pro wireless mouse, their amazing K95 RGB Platinum XT keyboard, as well as their IQ Nexus control panel. This gives us even more features to play around with in IQ, so let's jump in, shall we? As always, the first thing we want to do is make sure we're using the latest version of IQ and that all of our connected devices firmware is up to date too. So head to settings first, click check for updates at the bottom, and then towards the top, you will see a list of your devices. Click each one individually and make sure to click check firmware firmware update. Whilst you're here, you can change devices, polling rates, LED brightness, and more depending on the devices that you have connected. Now we're done, let's go to the home tab. This displays all of your connected devices at once, and it's nice and easy to see. Underneath, we have a banner that takes you to Corsair's short tutorial videos, but you don't need that, do you? Because you are watching this fully comprehensive tutorial. At the bottom, there are grade icons. These are links to support, forums, Twitter, Facebook, and Corsair's website. In the top left, we have a profile selector. Profiles are a great way to save your settings and create specific settings for certain uses. For example, you might want your system lit up like a Christmas tree when listening to music or playing games, but later you might want a less hectic setup so you can create two profiles and then swap between them at any time. Create a new profile by clicking the plus button, double click the text to rename. At the bottom, there is a create profile area
area, and here you can link profiles to specific games or programs. Let's say Spotify, for example. When Spotify is open, IQ will automatically swap to this profile, and when it isn't open any longer, it will revert back to a previously used profile that isn't linked to a program or game. Custom profile icon lets you display any picture that you want to upload, and the same for background images too. You can blur the image and change tabs transparency as well, which is a nice touch. Now we can click each of our devices and set their settings for our new profile. For example, click a device, head to lighting effects, click the plus button and choose a suitable effect for each device for the new profile. If you want to cheat a little bit and save some time, then try out one of the lighting link options instead, and this will apply the effect to all of your devices at once. You can even change the fan speeds and assign them to profiles too. Let's check out our H100i, click performance and you will see four presets. Click the preset you want to use and then select the fans to engage that preset. You can create your own too by clicking the plus button. You can create your own curves or use the preset options to the right hand side. If you want custom macros for your keyboard or mouse for this profile, then you can do so as well. So we'll select our K95, select actions tab and click add new action by clicking the plus button. Macro is selected by default. Press the red record button to enter your macro. Press the red record button again to stop recording and then select the key that you want to assign the macro to. If you want to make this new profile the default profile, then just go ahead and select the profile and drag it to the top of the list. You can also create profile folders. Let's say you have a specific custom made profile for each game that you wanna play, then you can create a games folder to keep them all organized by pressing the folder icon. You can also create new profile switching shortcuts to your mouse or keyboard too. So using our K95, I'll select the actions tab again, choose profile switching, select a keyboard key that you want to assign as the switch and then press assign. And now you can rotate through all your profiles just by pressing that button. There's more too. Not only can you create new profiles and switch between them, but you can even import and export profiles too. This is an excellent way to share your creations with your friends and you can even download other people's profiles from Corsair's forums. Click back onto the profiles tab and you will see an icon above the bin. If we want to export our profile that we've just made, click export, select the profile, select what you would like to export. I'm going to leave all the options selected and then click export. If you want to import, then select import, press the three dots button to locate the file that you're importing, choose what you'd like to import from that file and then click import. It's really as easy as that. So take a look at my red and green Christmas theme profile that I created earlier that we've just imported. You can also save profiles directly onto compatible hardware. This means when IQ isn't running, then the profile will still be used by that hardware. So let's take our K95 again, for example. Let's select it and click the onboard profiles tab. Select a profile you'd like to save to and click override if you've already got a profile there. The profile is now saved directly onto the K95, it's great. Let's say you're in a rush, you don't wanna create a new profile, but you want an instant way of changing all devices lighting at once. Click the top tab called Instant Lighting. Here you have 11 options. Clicking any of the colors will instantly set all devices as that color. But the handiest feature in my opinion is the lighting off. This is a super quick way of turning all your RGB LEDs off if you need to, and you can enable it by clicking the black option. Once selected, it will enable the new instant lighting effect, but if you want to disable it, click the cross button in the bottom right and it will return to your profile's lighting setting. Let's take a look at the dashboard. So this is an excellent feature that is often overlooked. It's a customizable area that gives you system information, fan speeds, component temperatures, and more. Clicking the dashboard tab, it's blank because we've not enabled anything yet. So we need to click the plus button and then select the items we'd like to see. You 
You can drag each panel around so you can move them where you want to. Click the button on the right to hide graphs, resize, pin to a specific place or remove the panel. Going to the settings tab again and selecting dashboard lets you add a custom background with additional options as well. Now something that is even more overlooked than IQ dashboard is IQ space. In the notification area of Windows, right click on the IQ icon and select show IQ space. This is pretty much the same as dashboard. It lets you see components information. So click the plus button to add what you'd like to see. So IQ space is a great way of seeing your system's information whilst gaming or even benchmarking because IQ space will remain on the top of all of your windows. Going back to IQ and clicking settings, sensor loggings, you can create a log file with your system's information on. So select what you would like to create a log of and then log files location, interval times and even limit logging duration. The OSD section is for IQ's on-screen display overlay. Here you can display profile names, DPI changes, active timer countdowns and more. To enable, click enable and then select from the drop-down list. You can then drag and reposition the display and change the font, the size, the duration and transparency as well. So that's it, you're now a fully fledged IQ Pro. Don't forget we are giving away this incredible PC so make sure to check the link down in the description for details on how you can win that. So the excellent builders over at scan.co.uk have made this system for our giveaway and they make Corsair IQ certified systems that 100% compatible with IQ. There are also other PC builders worldwide that offer certified systems and you can find more details about those over on Corsair's website. So we really hope you've enjoyed this video and good luck in entering the competition. If you've enjoyed this video, smash the like, hit the subscribe, check out our merchandise, check out our Twitter and our website daily for tech news. I'm Andy, this is Kit Guru. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.